What's up guys? Today I'm uh, going to take the micro machine and uh, we're going to get it back on the front wheels and I'm going to get it moved down to my little container where I got the engine at so that way I can start actually getting to work on the inside of it and uh, getting all that set up because we're getting ready to be able to put the motor back in this thing and uh, trying to get this thing running here real real soon. But I got to put it this upper control arm back up and got attached put the wheel on it um i got a, i got the axle still in there i just gotta hang the axle up so that way i can roll it and uh <clears throat> i done put this upper control arm back on and i'm in the middle of putting this wheel on at the moment and then i'll get this side set down and i'll go to the other side and get that wheel on there and then i'll be able to uh roll this thing on down to where the motor's at so I got it sitting back on the ground now got both front wheels on it but now I gotta deal with this flat tire real quick get that flat tire pumped up and then get this shit right here moved out from in front of it because there's some fenders sitting on the pallet and then I can roll her out and uh, get it back over here to where the motor is to actually start uh, working on the interior and that kind of stuff getting this thing back ready to hit the streets So I come to get an air tank to pump up the back tire I grab this orange one first go fill it up or what I thought was filled up go try to pump up the tire and There's no air in it. So I start looking kind of find out the valve on it is bad I've had to come back over here grab the white tank Go and fill it up I got the tire pumped up But got the back tire pumped up so we are now mobile and I can get this thing rolled down the hill to where the container's at with the motor. And we can kind of get this interior cleaned out because as I tore it apart, I kind of just stuck everything in there. I mean, the pollen's all over the window right now. It's kind of hard to see inside there, but all the stuff's in there. And then we'll try to take it out and get it cleaned out in there so that way it actually start putting it back together. So I got in front of it cleaned out. Got a nice path. And now I can roll it out, out of here and get it down to the container. So it's been set for so long. I put down the emergency brake. And the uh, back brakes are locked up, so. Oh. Can we get? So, yeah, we got the brakes locked up at the moment, but as soon as I get that free, we'll get it down to the spot. So, I had to drag it to that far before the front rotor turned loose and it actually rolled again. But, I got it rolling, and I just got to roll it right on down there. I got the dash, uh, shifting linkage, and the lower radiator support that I made out of the car along with a lot of the other stuff and <clears throat> the actual inside of the car is actually pretty clean now i gotta get these bolts and stuff that i got just thrown in here and take and throw away that box and a couple other little dumb shit but pretty much up from that floorboard up it's clean i gotta get the alternator out i gotta get the t-bracket out um my heat gun all that stuff i was i started tinting the windows i got both rear quarters done i gotta do both front uh doors and I still gotta do the back glass and tint that. But it is at least down over here now by the motor. So that way, as soon as I get the flywheel on this thing and we get it attached back to the transmission, we can go ahead and put that in there. And start wiring everything up. But I have a couple setbacks on the motor and so I figured why that happened, I'd come over here, clean this up. Um, I got a couple spots that I may want to actually, because I got some messed up spots here. I may end up sanding it real quick and painting the engine bay before I stick the motor back in. Seeing how I got the best opportunity right now to get all of it. But uh, it's coming along. I got a little ways to go, but here soon. I'm gonna work on mounting the uh, DCM up here. 
gonna take this seat out. I'm probably gonna mount it to this piece of aluminum, but I'm gonna end up mounting it up here. Film from when I mount for when I did the uh, the tent and the windows, but there's my fuse box that I relocated. Get my wipes out of the way, my knife. Uh, I had to have a uh, an automatic harness in here and so to make the starter work at first I had to put this in here but then I ended up bypassing all that and running power to it like it's supposed to so this didn't even really need it anymore I was gonna uh I gotta figure out which light in here turns on the reverse light so that way um I can hook that up properly so I can have reverse lights on this thing because uh at the moment when I put this thing in reverse because it's manual and if I don't put this thing into the reverse spot and turn on the reverse lights. I don't have reverse lights. But there's my chipped ECM that was running the car while I was running it um, on the five pounds. Uh, the guy that I had gotten it from originally said it was tuned for 10, but his blew up, and so I didn't feel like testing that. And so I only ever ran it on five pounds. It ran great on those five pounds. I never had any issues, but uh, I'm probably going to end up getting the software so I can mess with that because that ECM is probably going to go in the uh, the Integra. Speaking of, while I'm here at the shop, I can actually show you all that plan. All right, so I know it don't look like much, but this is the car that started it all. This is the car that I tore apart to put together the hatch after... Um, my brother passed away and the car had been wrecked for a few years uh, before and he never actually got around to do anything to it. Then when he passed away, I got actually got the, the Civic and did a bunch of work on it and fixed the body. Well, I took all the suspension from this car, um, motor and transmission, which was my boosted LS that went into the car. Uh, I couldn't take the... Uh, the engine or the body harness it's different i took the engine harness all that i had that's why i had to use the automatic harness out of that other car was because the shell had been stripped down to nothing after it was wrecked and so this was my integra that i was driving around that i had been working on putting stickers all over and uh you know here i'll give you a quick little tour down them And then in the center, I had that. But the plan with this car now, is this open? Okay, yeah, it's open. Now the plan with this car is I'm gonna cut the rear out right back here and we're gonna mid-engine swap this car. Cause there's no suspension, there's no, I mean, I still have the dash, I still have the wine harness for inside, I still have all that stuff for it. But I figured, you know, I wanna do something different with this car. Uh, it's been done before, but it hadn't been done that many times. So I figure I have a whole nother uh, swap. It's a B20 swap out of another Integra that has a bad body. This one's good, all except for I need to fix the rust in the uh, wheel wells on the quarter panel. But it has it on both sides. That's really only the, the issue that this car had and that uh, I need to fix on it, but once I get um, a little bit of time, I'll move this car out, clean it up, get it all nice and clean, and I'll actually start on cutting it up and making it to where we can try to mount the motor in the back and get all that set up to, to have a mid-engine rear-wheel drive Integra. I think that'd be kind of cool to have one for the channel. Um, and it'd be a fun little play toy and it would definitely be something very unique it would definitely be getting a jdm front end um i like it better than the four circle headlights so but yeah that's my plan for this car and that would be happening pretty soon and then last but not least we have my s10 it's a 96 it's the round body style uh it was a 4.3 
automatic. Um, it was the V6. It was garbage. The it had no compression on cylinder one and five. When I bought the truck, I was going to use it as a daily driver. That was my plan. And I said if I ever had to take the motor out, it was getting a V8. Well, the motor that was in it was bad. So I never even really got to drive it. I just pulled the motor. So I ended up stripping it, pulling the entire interior, pulling the bed off of it. There's the bed. Uh, and pretty much doing all that. We're going to cut the frame rails, move them in and up. So that way we can put a bigger tire and put a nine inch forward under here, cut it down. We'll put big old back tires under here. Uh, and then I'm gonna put a, a 5.3 probably, or either a 4.8, maybe a 6.0 with twin turbos. And it'll be pretty much my dedicated race car. It will be street legal. It'll have a tag and insurance and all that. So that way I can drive it and go mess with people, you know, and, and all that. But for the most part, I want it to be very fast and at least street legal so we can do like race week and maybe something like that with the truck. But I figured I'd give y'all a little walk around. So I was out here at the shop and it's such a nice pretty day. And I could go out here in the back and actually look at the vehicles and show them off. So. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the cat out of the bag. Uh, the standalone system that I'm gonna be running is the Mega Squirt 2. Um, I had to get the, uh, the do-it-yourself one. It comes with an eight foot harness that's just uh, all the wires terminated to the same length run to the pin that plugs into it and then I had to cut the wires I had to run them out there to where they went cut the wires and then solder the connectors onto all the wires um, and now all I really got left to do is just run the power wires to the fuse box I got for it and then I have to take all these ground wires and I'm gonna make a, uh, a spot for them all to terminate at uh, up there uh, by the battery. But yeah, so I'm gonna be running the Mega Square too. So I ended up getting this right here. Here's the relays for the whole um, ECM setup. I got them from a blazer and I cut it down. And uh, I'm gonna mount it and they're hidden, but I gotta go solder this and then um i gotta solder a red wire to this one a red wire to that one this one solders into the ecm to run the fuel pump uh that's a ground these are powers one goes to the battery one goes to the ignition switch i have to cut that and then this other one is actually what powers that uh that fuse box right there that's going to have all the fuses for ignition uh for the fuel injectors and for all that kind of stuff but i got a little bit left left to do to finish off the mega squirt and get it in the car and uh that's why i'm trying to knock this stuff out while i'm still getting the engine finished up since i'm waiting on stuff for that all right guys so it's starting to get dark on me i'm not gonna be able to get very much more done tonight <clears throat> so i think i'm just gonna go ahead and call it a night Put everything up before it gets dark and that way i make sure i got all the tools put up um but i did get the mega squirt put in here and uh started running some of the wires out um i got to get the relays hooked up into the whole system and integrate all that in and then i got to take one of those orange wires and that's going to run to the uh the speed sensor and then i'm going to take one of those uh blue wires and that's going to run to the boost controller so that way we'll be able to do boost by gear but uh i'll be back here tomorrow to work on it some more and uh that'll be on another video though uh, i'm gonna sign off this one here if you like what you saw and you want to continue with the build as we get this thing together uh don't forget to like and subscribe the video to subscribe and uh, share the video to your friends so that way they can see it too. But y'all stay safe and have a good night.